Hey everybody, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some trading basics and in this video, channels. What is a channel? How do you draw them? How do you use them? So a price channel or a channel in trading is two parallel trends. And the way that we use them is when the price is trading within two par parallel areas. And let's just draw a basic channel here. Uh, let's grab the channel tool. What happens is when the price is trading within a channel, and this would be an a example of an uptrend channel, what you'll see is the price will use the bottom of the channel, the uptrend will act as support as usual, but the top of the channel will act as resistance. How can we use this to our advantage while trading? Well, we can be selling our position into the top of the channel or looking to short into the top of the channel and buying into the support, looking for that bounce within the channel up to down to up, etc. going forward. Fantastic tool to be using, especially on these bigger cap stocks, which tend to trade in these price um, channels to the upside and the downside. Let's take an example um, on this TWLO chart and look at how to actually draw it. So the first thing that you wanna do when drawing a channel is look at the uptrend. So in this case, let's just go back. We'll, we'll draw it from here and then we'll look to see how it works out. So in this case, what we're gonna do is just take the, most, most um, platforms, by the way, guys, will have a channel tool, but let's just do it with the basic uh, trend line. So we're gonna take two areas, two lows, that look like they're um, causing some sort of uptrend or acting as some sort of uptrend. In this case, it's this level right here and then this level over here. What I'm gonna do now is take a duplicate of this line. So I'm just gonna copy this line and I'm gonna place this line on the top at these resistance points or the tops of this chart where I think that there could be a top channel forming. If you see multiple projections as it pushes up, that's probably the best area to be placing it. In this case, I see a rejection here, rejection here, rejection here. Let's see how this price channel worked out when we charted it. So you can see it worked out pretty good. You got another rejection there, another rejection there at the top of the channel. And you can see that this would be a valid channel. Eventually, these stocks will break that uptrend or break the top of the channel. And you'll see either new channels form or a reversal on the price. So it is something to take note of, but as long as they stay within this channel, we can use these supports and resistances to trade off of. Let's do the same thing, but to the downside. So exact same method, except now we just kind of inverse it in terms of we draw the downtrend first, and then we draw the bottom of that downtrend channel as your support after. So in this case, I'm going to take the top resistance here to the next um, little top resistance that I think would make sense for the downtrend, which is right there. I'm going to duplicate this um, downtrend and then I'm going to place it at the bottom where I think it would make sense in this case I don't know where the next low is going to be So I'm just going to place it on the, the low that sticks out to me from a visual standpoint And I believe it's this one So based off of that low and this up this downtrend channel Let's see where the price went after this of course We can see that it came back down tested it to the T so you could be buying long off of this level if it holds up and then shorting once it hits the top of the channel again to the downside so channels, great tool to be using, especially if you're a trader um, on these bigger cap names. You can use them for trading options, calls and puts, um, depending upon where the price is in within this channel. Fantastic tool to use. Definitely takes a little bit of practice to get used to drawing them, but once you get the hang of it, um, they're gonna stick out and you probably won't even really need to draw that many of them, you'll just see them visually. So anyways, that's Spartan, or that's it for me, Spartan at SpartanTrading.com. If you guys wanna uh, check us out, you can go to our website there or hit us up on Twitter at Spartan Trading. And uh, if you guys have any fast questions, feel free to give me an email as well, Spartan at SpartanTrading.com. Thanks guys and have a great day.